eight of my 30 days of NFTs for beginner series. We are talking NFT wallet, so hit that plus and stick around. This is an important video because a lot of the scams in the NFT space happen around wallets. You have two types of wallets. You have hot wallets, which are those that are connected to the internet, such as your software wallets, browser extensions, apps on your phone. Then you've got cold wallets. And these are your hardware devices, such as your ledger and your Trezor. Now please note, if you are using a platform such as Nifty Gateway, you leave your NFTs on the platform, they are in custody of those NFTs. So you really don't have full control of your NFTs. Personally, this is not a route that I like to go because if there is a hack or anything goes wrong on their end, say goodbye to your NFTs. A very common MetaMask, that is a software wallet, which is a hot wallet. Your hot wallets are where the most common NFT hacks happen. Something small like accidentally clicking a link can drain your wallet. All of it. Links on Twitter, links in emails, links on Discord. I truly believe this is one of the biggest mistakes that people make. I do recommend using a hardware wallet. To use a hardware wallet in order for transactions to take place, yes, you have to sign off on those transactions. You do on a software wallet as well. You have an additional password that you have to enter. You have to authorize it on that device. It makes it more secure. Yes, hardware wallets hook up to MetaMask. There's an additional layer of security. Now, which one is the best one to use? Do I recommend my number one pick? Use three different ones. The Ledger hardware wallet. Hit the heart and I will see you tomorrow on day nine.